Hi students and welcome to today's lesson. I'm Mr. Hunter. Today we will explore the question, how do organisms survive seasonal changes? Are you ready? Grab your pencil and your science journal and let's get started. Look at this photograph. What do you notice? How does this photograph challenge what you think about butterflies and migration? I know monarch butterflies migrate to warmer environments for the winter, but I don't think this butterfly went south for the winter. We learned in the last lesson that monarch butterflies migrate because they aren't suited to live in cold weather. But this butterfly is in the snow. What do you think? Let's play a quick game. I have four cards. When I flip them over, you will see the different stages of the butterfly life cycle. You tell me if I have them in the correct order. Got it? Okay, here we go. Is this order correct for a butterfly's life cycle? Adult, egg, chrysalis, then caterpillar? Hmm, <laughs> no, this order doesn't look right. However, I do think one of these cards is in the correct place. Which card is in the correct place? The chrysalis. I'll leave that card where it is and shuffle the others around. Now, is this order correct for a butterfly's life cycle? Adult, caterpillar, chrysalis, then egg? I think we're closer to the correct order. I know that a caterpillar forms a chrysalis, so I'll leave stages two and three where they are. But I think we need to switch the other two cards around. Is this order correct for a butterfly's life cycle? Egg, caterpillar, chrysalis, adult. Hmm, I think this is the correct order. Great work. I have a video clip that will help us know for sure. Let's watch it together. Before I press play, what do you notice? I notice the caterpillar hanging down from a twig. I wonder how the caterpillar holds on like that. This video clip is a time lapse which means it was filmed over a long time and then played back really fast. What you see here would take much longer in real life. Here we go. Wow, that video clip was amazing. What a change. So do we have the butterfly's life cycle cards in the correct order? We were right. A butterfly's life cycle begins with an egg. A caterpillar hatches from the egg. Then the caterpillar forms a chrysalis. Finally, an adult butterfly comes out of the chrysalis. Here we can see actual photographs of each stage in a monarch butterfly's life cycle. Now, look at this monarch butterfly's life cycle model. This model has arrows between the photographs, and the photographs are arranged in a circle. The way the model is set up shows that the life cycle stages happen over and over again in the same order. What do you observe about the organism at each stage? Let's record our observations in this chart. How does the organism change during its life cycle? The offspring are eggs. The caterpillar hatches from the egg. The caterpillar makes a chrysalis, and then a butterfly comes out of the chrysalis. The adult butterfly has wings. Great! This model shows the life cycle of a monarch butterfly. But I wonder, how can we learn more about the life cycles of other organisms? Any ideas? Oh! We can observe photographs of other organisms at different stages of their life cycle. Let's get started. These photographs show the adult life cycle stage for four other organisms. We have an adult wood frog, an adult brown bear, an adult oak tree, and an adult tomato plant. I can't wait to observe each organism's life cycle. Let's start with the wood frog. Some of the photographs that we observe today will have circles on them, like this photograph does. Pay attention to what is inside the circles on those photographs. 
What do you observe about the organism at each stage? Let's record our observations in this chart. How does the organism change during its life cycle? The offspring are eggs. A tadpole hatches from an egg. The tadpole becomes a frog with a tail. The adult frog doesn't have a tail. Great! Now let's observe the life cycle of a brown bear. What do you observe about the organism at each stage? Let's record some of our observations in this chart. How does the organism change during its life cycle? The offspring is a cub. The young bear is larger than the cub. The adult bear is larger than the young bear. The bear has the same body parts at each stage. Now let's observe the life cycle of an oak tree. What do you observe about the organism at each stage? Let's record some of our observations in this chart. How does the organism change during its life cycle? The offspring are seeds inside acorns. A tree grows from the seed. The adult tree has more branches than in the other stages. We have one more life cycle left to observe. Let's look at a tomato plant's life cycle. What do you observe about the organism at each stage? Let's record some of our observations in this chart. How does the organism change during its life cycle? The offspring are seeds. A seedling grows from a seed. A seedling grows into a plant with tomatoes. Adult tomatoes are different colors. Wow, look at all of our collected data. Let's pick two of our organisms and compare their life cycles. How about the monarch butterfly and the tomato plant? How are the life cycles similar? Both the monarch butterfly and the tomato plant look different at each stage of their life cycle. Also, both the monarch butterfly and the tomato plant produce offspring after the adult stage of the life cycle. How are the life cycles different? Well, the monarch butterfly and tomato plant offspring look different. Tomato plants grow from seeds and monarch butterflies grow from eggs. Can you spot any other differences in the life cycles? Your task for today will be to respond to the question about life cycles. Wow, we've learned a lot about the life cycles of organisms, including butterflies. How can you use your knowledge about life cycles to describe this photograph from the beginning of our lesson? Ah, we now know that this butterfly is in the adult stage of its life cycle. We've learned that monarch butterflies migrate to avoid the cold. Can you think of any questions about the timing of a butterfly's life cycle? I wonder, do all butterflies become adults before winter? Do butterflies spend winter in the adult stage of their life cycle? Do butterfly life cycle stages depend on the season? In our next lesson, we will observe life cycles of different butterflies as we continue to explore the question, how do organisms survive seasonal changes? Let's review your task for today. Respond to the question about life cycles.